Hello guys. First off, let me start by saying this is not the video that you're expecting it to be. That video is coming. What of course I'm referring to is the video I recently uploaded where I said that I'd be making a return rant video on DSP and I asked your guys suggestions on what I should rant about. That's not this video. That video's coming. I've kind of started work on it already. Um, what it ended up being, most people want me to talk about his, uh, his tax situation. So I, it's just taking a bit more time. Furthermore, I'm waiting. I've ordered a new microphone um, and I'm waiting to record the video using that microphone. Uh, it's a better quality microphone. That being said, unfortunately, I'm using my old microphone uh, for this video and I apologize. It's, it's a okay microphone and everything, but I know with these rant videos, sometimes I get a bit loud and this mic's not very good at handling loud. So I'm going to try not to be loud, but if I start like getting a bit pissed off, then, you know, I apologize in advance. Uh, the next video will have a different microphone. So why am I making this video? Like I said, I was not expecting to, to be making this video. I thought the next video would be the, my next video. <laughs> but um, something happened last night and I was like, I have to make this video. Basically, DSP um, said something stupid. A bunch of stupid shit. Well, yeah, stupid, selfish, bit of both. Um, and it pissed me off to the point where I thought I need to make a video about this quickly because it really fucking annoyed me. And the video that um, you can hear what he says on um, is called Pre-Stream January 18th, 2019, uh, Major Stream of Minecraft. You see, Major is all in caps. It's a major stream of Minecraft. Not one of those pussy minor streams that you see knocking about. This one is a major stream. So, <laughs> what, what Phil talked about was Article 13. Now, for those of you that don't know, basically what Article 13 is, is it's a law that might pass uh, in the EU, which would affect content creators on YouTube and various other platforms in a very negative way. It basically means that you can't, like, upload content uh, unless you own the rights to do it, in a nutshell. Now, uh, people have asked me, well, one person asked me, um, it, how it affect me living in the UK and I, I've tried to look for answers to that it's quite of a, a bit of a grey area uh, but from what I understand obviously we've got Brexit that's currently going down uh, so I'd imagine that if Brexit was finalised and the UK left the EU before Article 13 was implemented if it is implemented then it wouldn't affect us but if Article 13 came in first before we left the EU, it would affect us for the duration that we were still in the EU. So, you know, for the UK, it's not too bad. Worst case scenario, we will have to put up with it for a couple of months. But the the situation is it's, it's deeper than that. So I will get into what Phil said first. I just want to sort of clear up the situation, what it is. Um, it's bad news because what it means basically is people in Europe won't be able to uh, like produce content because YouTube for example have said that they because they'll be held responsible if someone from Europe uploads something that they don't own the copyright for and the people that do own the copyright for want to take legal action YouTube will be held responsible and they could be sued so YouTube quite rightly so has said look we don't want to be put in a situation where we could be um, held responsible for such like massive financial damages so we're just going to basically say no one from Europe can upload, you know, because they, they haven't got the time to sift through that many videos and see what is infringing on copyright and what isn't. Um, so that creates a thing where people from Europe are basically not going to be able to, like, create content, which sucks. And it also means that content creators outside of Europe uh, won't will lose viewership because people won't be able to, like, say, for example, someone in Europe will not be able to watch something that hasn't got the copyright approval so say why we're still in europe if i wanted to watch a playthrough of i don't know uh resident evil 2 um and i would only be able to watch content from uploaders that had the approval from capcom to upload that video and you know full well it's going to be people like pokimane and fucking you know markiplier or some other you know absolute annoying twat um 
and it's going to like obviously hurt loads of smaller content creators in like say the US. I mean, people in the US you'll still be able to upload playthroughs, but they won't be visible like to people in countries affected by article 13 right that being said obviously quite a big thing that affects so many people that live in europe quite serious so we're gonna look now and i'm gonna keep my thoughts on what does phil make of this this massive issue that affects so many people what what did he have to say so what twitch and youtube have come out and said is if this law passes in its current form basically anyone who broadcasts their streams will not have them be able to be viewed in the European Union unless they can produce direct legal proof that they have rights to broadcast there for a certain game. They would have to do this for every different game they do. They would have to get legal permission and provide it to Twitch. Can you just imagine the paperwork nightmare, the labor nightmare of every streamer trying to prove to Twitch and or to YouTube they have rights to create content for a game? In reality, it's just not gonna happen. And what's ended up happening is both Twitch and YouTube have said initially, all we're going to do is flip a switch. And if you're in the European Union, you will not be able to watch any gameplay streams or any gameplay videos on YouTube or Twitch, period. Until this whole situation is sorted out, if we have to get a new kind of work uh, situation um, where, you know, we have to hire new staff or we have to have a new process in place where staff will process these claims or whatever. I'll be honest for all of you, um, it's just, uh, for, for when it comes to my content, well, that didn't take it long to make it all about himself. Oh, it's all about me. Bree, 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 Bree. He's very quickly when he glosses over the fact that people from Europe are going to have the switch flipped on them so that basically they can't upload. Like it's just nothing to him. Because effectively it really is nothing to him. He doesn't give a shit whether people in Europe can't upload. It, that doesn't affect him. What affects him is that the people in Europe can't watch his content. He couldn't give a flying fuck about the fact that they can't upload. He just simply glosses over that. All right. It's just not going to happen. There's no way that I have any clout to contact. For example, Resident Evil 2, the remake, comes out this coming Friday uh, in one week from today. There's no way that I have the, the, the clout or any kind of capacity to contact Capcom and say, Hey, guys, you know, I really love your stuff and I'm playing Resident Evil 2. Can you give me legal permission to do it? so that I can broadcast in the European Union. Chances are it would take them weeks to months to even get back to me if they ever do. They don't care about me. Ha, that would be a very interesting conversation. Hello Capcom, Phil here, professional e-bagger and wanker on stream. Is there any chance you'd let me record your game and broadcast it to the EU and add my Gaudi commentary? Yeah, I can't imagine that they would say yes to that. Right? If anything, they're going to respond to the biggest guys. You're going to have the absolute ginormous streamers who already get all the views are going to be bringing in even more views because they'll probably be the ones that Capcom responds to and says, oh, okay, here, I'll give you legal permission since you get ridiculous amounts of views everywhere you put out content. But when it comes to the normal people like you and me, we're basically fucked. We'll never get it. Okay. Oh, hello. Yes, of course, YouTuber that gets loads of views and doesn't masturbate in front of stream and scam people out of money. Yes, you may broadcast our game or record our game and uh, show it to the EU audience. But like Phil says, the normal people like you or I who, you know, wank on stream, we stand no chance of getting uh, the right to show our footage in the EU. Again, to reiterate, you're missing a much bigger picture here. I know you're talking about how this affects you, but why why would you really assume that anyone gives a fuck that, you know, how this is affecting you? There's, there's a much bigger effect going on here to the people that will not literally be able to upload videos or be able to watch certain videos. Um, and basically, essentially, what this is going to do is completely shut down uh, you know, business when it comes to Twitch and YouTube in gaming realms, you know, any kind of the realm of gaming for the European Union. The other thing a lot of people aren't realizing um, is that a lot of people like me uh, make their livelihood out of having a worldwide viewer base. I know for a fact many of you right now watching my stream and many of you listening to this pre-stream on YouTube probably are in the European Union. And many of you may come in and do things like uh, cheer or sub during a live stream, right? Well, guess what? You won't be able to do that anymore. You won't even be able to watch my live stream under your own account. 
if you use a VPN, maybe you'll be able to watch, but you won't be able to be under any kind of an account where you pay through European Union means. You see what I mean? If you live in one of these countries in the European Union, you probably won't be able to cheer or sub ever again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, okay, right, right. Fucking hell, fucking hell. Okay, Phil, Phil, Phil. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Can I call you Phil? Is it alright if I call you Phil, or should I call you by your forename? Stupid, self-entitled, immature, man-child, gouty fuck. No, I'll just call you Phil. Look, trust me, no one in the EU that reads Article 13 is going, Oh, you've seen this Article 13 thing here? Yeah, it's really bad, isn't it? No one's going, oh, do you know what the worst thing is? What's that? Oh, I won't be able to give donations to Phil. No one gives a fuck about, oh my god, if Article 13 comes in, I'll never be able to, to fucking donate. Or, or, or give cheers. No one gives a fuck. People are going, oh my god, our internet is going to be, like, censored somewhat. Right? Or, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to upload anymore. I'm not going to be able to watch my favourite content creator anymore. No one is going, oh no, how can I give the whiny man-child money so he can buy cheeseburgers? I, I, I just... Your selfishness knows no ends. This is not even, like... If, if, you, if I had to say all my concerns in percentage of, like, you know, what, of this Article 13 thing, I'd say I'm probably, like, 50% uh, worried about, you know, not being able to see, like, my favourite YouTubers anymore. I'm 50% worried that, obviously, I'm not going to be able to make videos anymore. There's not even a single 1% or anything like that, that that has occurred to me, that not just yourself, that I've gone, oh my god, I'll never be able to donate. Uh, or cheer again. I don't give a fuck if I can't donate money to some self-entitled wanker who sits at home and plays games like it's their god-given right and refuses to get a real fucking job. Or some fucking girl that, you know, fucking has her face cam ten times bigger than the game and if you give her a dollar she goes and writes your name on a fucking whiteboard so you can see her ass. I don't give a shit if Article 13 stops me from donating money to, like, you fucking wankers. I really don't care. Like, it's not even crossed my mind, mate. Fuck me. So, that being said, this is horrible. I mean, someone like me, who I, you know, as you guys know, I've been having lots of financial challenges recently. I have a huge financial challenge coming up in April to try to pay my taxes. Now imagine, on top of all this stuff going on, I lose, I don't know, one-fifth of my viewer base who are in the European Union because they can't watch my stuff anymore. So there's no more viewership, no more contributions from there at all. Um... I don't Oh my god, my life is so hard. I've got my house to pay for and my fucking bills and blah blah now on top of this, my EU audience might be taken off me. Oh shut the fuck up, man. Like shut the fuck up. It amazes me how you always manage to take a situation and fight make it about you. I remember back exactly a couple of years ago or or so when uh People were asking him to talk about Toby Turner because of some allegations. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was. And he, he said, all right, I'll talk about Toby Turner. And instead of talking about what they wanted to talk about, he talked about when Toby Turner's ads were on his videos and how it cost him money. He always, like, literally, it's, it's a skill. Like, it's a skill. Imagine if, like, a nuclear bomb went off and, I don't know, blew up, like, half the world. He probably still would come out and go, oh my god, that's 50% of the world's population that can't watch my videos. Like, how? How the fuck are you making this about you? You fucking self-entitled piece of shit. I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm speechless and... You are not fucking speechless. It would be good if you were speechless. Because then there won't be so much shit coming out of your mouth. Maybe you should be speechless. Because... Every time you open your mouth, you just spew stupid, self-egotistical bullshit. Try being speechless. It might work out for you. You know, I, they've been talking about this for months. And I talked about it in December. I'm bringing it up again because, again, this morning I got an email from Twitch about it. And for me, like, I don't really understand how the European Union politics work at all. You do fucking surprise me. You you have no idea how EU politics works at all. I am fucking shocked. Like seriously, I, I was I thought you were some sort of political expert at this point. Jesus Christ. In the United States, here's how it works. We have elected officials, and they know that they're elected, and they know that every few years they have to be re-voted in if they want to stay in power. So, for example, I'd say about five six years ago we had the big scare. Actually, it was like seven eight years ago at this point. Oh, Sopa and Pippa. 
and these were going to be very restrictive laws in regards to the internet that were going to shut down things like YouTube. So we went up in arms against SOPA and PIPA, and we made videos about it, and we rallied against it in the United States. Finally, the viral movement reached our lawmakers, and all the lawmakers who were in favor of these very, very censor censorship-centric laws said, oh shit, we're probably not going to get voted in again next term if we pass these laws because it seems like the common people of America don't want them. And they completely dropped the whole thing and it never came back. So that's how it works in our country. You're going to pass something we don't want. We'll tell you, hey, go right ahead. And if you do, you're not going to have a job next term. And then they don't do it. They'll just drop it. Okay. I have no idea. Okay. Um, I have absolutely no idea how this is going to happen in the European Union. I don't know if you guys and gals who live there can contact your lawmakers and say, hey, Please stop this law. It doesn't make sense. It's going to ruin everything. You know, I have no idea how it works. You have no idea how it works. Yeah, you're right. You do have no idea how it works. You're sitting there going, oh, this is what we did in, in my country. In my country, we did. Europe's not a fucking country, you absolute idiot. Hmm. A fair guess, but I'm afraid it's wrong. Try again. Uh, I don't know anything about Europe. Fuck. Europe is several countries and do you know what furthermore yeah there are petitions going around and there's people that you know people should be making videos and talking about this I absolutely agree but I tell you now like no one's motivation for wanting to stop this is the oh oh you know let's contact our lawmakers and have a word with them go oh, you've got to stop article 13 you're ruining everything oh yeah such as well who's gonna pay Phil's bills huh are you gonna pay him are you, you going to pay a Mr. Politician when you take away Article 13? No, you're not. I'm going to pay for them with my donations. So think about that when you take away our, our right to donate to fucking YouTube e-beggars. So for me, I just kind of shrug and say this really sucks. I hope this doesn't happen because I, as you guys know, I love what I do for a living. I don't want to ever have to change what I do for a living. And like it's within my power. And right now I'm in a situation where things, if we can keep them going and that we get a big surge of support by April, I can get through this tax situation. Maybe I can even refinance my home by the end of this year. I'll get to a good position where finally I'll be able to be stable. And the streams have been going great and everything, we keep the positivity up. That's what I've been focusing on. Now imagine if all of a sudden out of nowhere, the rug gets pulled out from under me because no one in the European Union can watch my stuff and that's the end of it all. Like, that's it. I'll be very honest with you guys. If I get a big dip in income out of nowhere it's over you know actually you saying that article 13 coming into effect would like make you lose money and that it could potentially be your downfall that to me is actually one good thing that could come out of this like if if article 13 does happen and it affects me like in the uk for however a long amount of time i will take some sort of comfort in the fact that it fucked you over that that would be nice to know that you had to go out and actually earn your money instead of begging for it like at least some good in fact you know what you should actually phil you should get in contact with the people that are trying to push for this to happen because you make a great argument for fucking this thing happening so you know article 13 phil Bernal is for it if, if you if you want article 13 to happen then phil Bernal goes out of business it will fly through you've got my support like what I'm going to have to do, realistically, I'm going to have to sell this house. I'm going to have to try to see if even just by selling this house, is that enough money to pay the responsibilities that I have financially? Because how big of a dip of income am I going to take if the European Union viewers can't see me anymore? Um, you know, it just becomes a life crippling thing. And it's all because of a dumb law that makes no sense. All right. Um... I don't know, man. I just... You see, I'm nervous. I'm incredibly nervous about this whole situation. But the thing is, there's nothing I can do about it, right? Um, There's nothing I can do at all. I have no control over it. So it's really up to those of you who watch my stuff and live in the European Union to figure out how you contact your lawmakers and say, don't do this um, or change it so at least it's not going to affect these things so badly. You know what I mean? Um... I just don't know anymore. I'm just like, you know, I'm very nervous and, you know, it sucks. It sucks to me that I get these, these 
these almost threatening, if not just like doomsday like emails from Twitch and YouTube saying, you know, it's going to happen. And, you know, we've been trying to tell you guys for like the greater part of a year this is coming. You know? Um. <laughs> All right. All right. Woe is Phil. Article 13 is making him nervous. It's so bad because it might be a life crippling thing for him. This this awful thing might mean that he's no longer making a living by sitting down and talking over computer games and not editing any single videos, begging children for money on Patreon through Twitch and everything, and that he might actually get, have to get up out of his fat ass and actually earn some proper like money by doing an honest day's work. This, this Article 13 is, it, you know, at the risk of, of repeating myself, like, well, I'm, I'm definitely going to, but to sum up now, you, you're making a video on Article 13 to, to raise awareness for Article 13, which I can't fault anyone on doing that. Now, but let's say I've not heard about Article 13, and the first video I see on it is your pre-stream. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a DSP fanboy, right? I, I, I just, oh yay, Phil's uploading content. God, I can't wait to watch some more content and, and click on his advertisements, right? So I'm sat there doing that, and then I was like, oh, oh. Phil, Phil's got an important uh, announcement to me about Article 13. Never heard of this. What's this about? Phil, make me care about this. And your job is to make whoever's watching your video care about it. And you're, you're, you, you basically, the main points that would make someone give a shit and, and emphasise how important and, and like, crippling this could be, you skim over in, like, two seconds. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, people in Europe uh, probably won't be able, to, well, definitely won't be able to upload... Uh, videos and also they won't be able to watch um, certain videos because of these laws so it massively censors what they can watch you skim over that and then you talk for ages about how it affects you because people oh you you're, they're taking away your right to donate money to me I, I don't care let them take it do you know what if they turned around and said you know what we, we, Article 13 is different now. We're gonna, we're not gonna take away your uploading. You can upload whatever you want. We're not gonna stop you from broadcasting. We're just gonna take away your right to donate to people. No one would give a fuck. I guarantee you, you wouldn't get me going. Go, oh, what? I, I can no longer donate to my favourite Twitch streamers. I don't care. I really don't give a fuck. You know, it's, it's not anything. You're, you failed. You failed to make people care. You made me care less. About Article 13, if anything, I was de I've been keeping up with it to some extent, and I've been like, you know, oh god, this sounds shit. And after listening to you go on about it, I'm I'm somewhat like, oh well, at least it'll fuck Phil over the dick. Honestly, but seriously, no, I am massively against Article 13. But you know, my point is like, how on earth can you take something like this and and try to like convince people it's bad by talking about like you must think that we all massively go like like we're gonna go oh yeah uh, people are gonna lose their ability to upload in europe uh and people, oh well that didn't bother me well, i don't really care yeah but did you think about this how am i gonna pay for my house because they won't be able to donate for me oh shit i didn't think about that fuck like i don't know maybe you could um set up some sort of like uh you know like mailing system or something where we can mail you money phil like because i don't want to not be able to send you my money so you know maybe you could just give me your, your postcode and i can just send it to you like fucking hell, honest to God, I, I, you know, after all this time, like I said, going on about his bills, how does he talk about this every single day? Like, I've been keeping up with him to some extent, like in obviously in the two years I've not really uploaded, and every time I've dipped in and sort of saying, what's he doing now? It's always, oh, I, I need that money to pay my bills. I need that money to pay my bills. Shut the fuck up. How do you do this every day? I can't imagine. Every day, sitting down to play a computer game with a camera on me and going, Hey guys, as I said yesterday, I need money to pay my bills. Day in, day out, slime in this ear, slime in that ear. Just shut the fuck up. You, 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 I know I'm reiterating, but obviously I've not had... Indulge me, I've not, had, I've not said this out loud for a while, not since two years. But nobody put a gun to your head and forced you to move to Washington. No one forced you to spend like you were fucking... P. Diddy, as soon as you got in your house, you've put yourself in this situation, and it's not anyone's job to get you out of it but your own. Hey, I've said time and time again, I don't mind people making money off their 
YouTube videos, putting adverts on there. Hell, I don't even mind Patreon to some extent. You know, if people want to, like, donate money. But when you are claiming that you've got a business that you refuse to change the business model of, and clearly it's failing because you can only get by by the donations of others, then your business is fucking failing and you need to change. But you refuse to change. No, I'm not changing. You guys cough up the cash. And you sit there and go, oh yeah, I need to raise this money. There are people all over the world with real jobs that are struggling to get money for food. And they live off fucking, you know, I don't know, pot noodles <laughs> or whatever. And you, to get money, because you're desperate, and then you post some fucking Instagram thing about how you've gone out for a meal. Oh, what, so I'm just supposed to stay at home and not have any fun? Yes! If you haven't got the money to do stuff, and then someone donates you the money. Like, look at it this way, okay? Say you were like... You come to me and you're like, I, I'm i broke, right? I, 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 need, I Literally, I can't afford to eat. Can you lend me some money? And I give you a hundred quid. And then, or dollars. <laughs> um, if I give you a hundred dollars and say, here you go, get some food. And then you come back to me five minutes later and go, hi, um, yeah, I kind of just spent that hundred dollars. Um, I put a bet on a horse that lost. Can I have another hundred dollars? Oh, oh, the horse didn't win. It wasn't my fault. Nothing I could do, dude. Go fuck yourself. Like, you've put yourself in this situation. Get yourself the fuck out of it. And no one from Europe gives a flying fuck about not being able to donate to you. They're busy worrying about the fact that they might lose, you know, the right to upload and watch certain YouTubers. Honest to God. Well, I've had enough fill that I can take for today. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll... Uh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, yada, yada, yada. I'll have the next video up hopefully soonish. I am working on it. I uh, hope the microphone is okay. I hope when I've gone a bit louder, it's not been too bad. I will have a new mic for the next video. Uh, as always, thank you for all the support, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.